Hello everyone. Welcome back to Film Recap. In this video, I will recap one of a zombie film from 2017, titled The End. Before we get to the storyline, don't forget to like and subscribe for more film recaps. Without further ado, let's get straight to the storyline. The film begins with a businessman, Claudio Verona, who was about to go to his office. But he was upset because the car that picked him up was late. Not only that, he became emotional with the traffic jams, so he requested his assistant to offer breakfast to their clients first. A few moments later, Claudio finally arrived at the office and he met his new assistant, Silvia. Claudio invited Silvia to join the meeting as a member of his team, after seeing her attractive face. It turns out that Claudio is an upscale playboy, who likes beautiful women despite the fact that he already has a wife. Besides Sylvia, he also tries to seduce his ex-girlfriend, Martha. But Martha tried to refuse because she was about to get married. But after hearing this, Claudio keep insisting, forcing Martha to use her finisher. Claudio finally gave up and simply let Martha go. Not long after, his wife, Lorena, suddenly called and asked if Claudio was okay. Claudio said that he was fine, but out of curiosity, he tried to ask what really happened to make Lorena worried about his condition. Lorena then said that she had seen on the news about the riots taking place throughout the city. Without realizing it, the elevator suddenly stopped. He then tried to contact the technical staff in the building to come and get him out of there, as he had a meeting with his client coming up soon. After waiting for a while, the technicians never came. Since Claudio had to attend the meeting soon, he tried to contact the technician again. Surprisingly, he heard the voices of the technicians who were scared because they're chased by someone. Then when his patience was running out, Claudio tried to force the elevator door to open. Even though he had used all his strength, the door only opened slightly because there was something blocking the door. <clears throat> Claudio tried to get out of there but he failed, because his body was too big to pass through the small gap in the door. Claudio oh. then shouted, hoping that someone would come to help him to get out of there. However, no one seemed to hear the screams. Not long after, his wife called again saying that there was a strange person who was pounding on her house door. Then Claudio told her to call the police immediately. But Lorena said that she'd done it, but she is unable to do so because the connection was suddenly disconnected. After telling his wife to lock herself in her room, Claudio tried to contact one of his friends to come over to the house, and look after Lorena because it seemed she was in trouble. But after a while, his wife called again saying that she saw the news about some people out there, who started going crazy and were attacking other residents. At first Claudio did not believe what Lorena said, but when he looked at his cell phone, he was surprised to see that the news about the attack had actually happened. Not long after that, Claudio saw several people running in fear, including Martha. Martha then asked him to immediately open the elevator door. Unfortunately, Martha was dragged, leaving Claudio confused as to what exactly happened to those people who were willing to commit that crime. In the midst of his confusion, suddenly several people who had turned into zombies tried to attack him. However, because they couldn't get into the elevator, the zombies finally left Claudio there. After that incident, Claudio didn't know what to do anymore because if he tried to get out of there, it was likely that the zombies would immediately attack him. But if he just stay there, he will starve to death because he has no food supply at all. Then, when Claudio was about to receive a call from someone which is her assistant, Sarah, he was pulled over and almost eaten by his ex, who had turned into a zombie at the time. Fortunately, he managed to escape. Claudio was no longer interested in his ex, due to Martha's face had now turned into scary zombie face. He also hit the Martha zombie with the iron that was there until her face was crushed. He then tore some paper from his thesis report and used the paper to cover the zombie's blood, so he wouldn't slip when he stepped on it. Not long after, he saw Sylvia who was hiding from the zombies. Claudio then called her and asked Sylvia to help in opening the elevator door. But unfortunately, their efforts failed because some zombies appeared out of nowhere and attacked Sylvia. Then, the incident that previously happened to Sylvia happened again to some of his friends, including Sarah. From there, Claudio didn't care anymore about what happened to other people, including himself. Not only that, 
His suffering grew even more when he got a call from his wife, who informed him that the zombies had managed to break through their house, until finally Claudio could no longer contact Lorena. Then, when the zombies outside screamed and tried to break into the elevator, suddenly a police came shooting at the zombies, until he finally managed to kill all the zombies there. The police then tried to help Claudio out, but because the two of them were unable to open the elevator door, the police planned to reset the system in the elevator by turning on the generator on the roof of the building. Before leaving, he had given Claudio a weapon to protect himself, and a walkie-talkie so the two of them could communicate. Claudio gradually began to show the way to the police, Marcelo, who had no idea where the generator was located. While on his way, Marcelo abruptly stated that he couldn't go upstairs, because there was a lot of heavy furniture blocking the stairs on the ninth floor. Then, Marcelo told Claudio to find another way. After thinking for a moment, Claudio finally remembered that on the ninth floor, there was a room from one of his friends, which had tools for building repairs outside of it. These tools can be used by Marcelo to get to the top floor. Without any delay, Marcelo immediately went there. When he attempted to break the building's glass with his weapon, the sound of shattered glass attracted the zombies. Marcelo became overwhelmed in fighting that zombies. In the end, Marcelo managed to turn on the generator but for some reason, the elevator door still wouldn't open. And when Claudio checked it, he found out that there was something blocking the door, causing the elevator to malfunction. When Claudio tried to take that object, suddenly a zombie came and was about to bite him, forcing him to shoot the zombie with a weapon given by Marcelo. Without realizing it, the sound of the gunshot actually attracts the other zombies. In the end, Claudio shot all the zombies until he realized that he had killed his own friends, who at that time had turned into zombies. The incident made Claudio feels that he was a bad person, because he had killed all of his colleagues including his ex-girlfriend. Then, when Claudio was looking through photos of his wife, suddenly he heard several other soldiers trying to fight off the zombies at the end of the corridor. When Claudio tried to call them, the soldier didn't hear Claudio's voice because they were being attacked by dozens of zombies. After waiting for hours, Marcelo never returned, leading Claudio to believe that Marcelo had failed to save himself from the zombies' attacks. Claudio, who felt desperate, intended to end his own life, then, he suddenly heard Marcelo's voice telling him to immediately open the door above the elevator. At first Claudio was confused about how to open the door, but in the end, he managed to open the door using the iron that was there. Then, after Marcelo entered, he immediately took his shotgun, and Marcelo slaughtered all the zombies that were there, until he finally managed to kill all of them. After that, Marcelo began to tell the whole incident that he experienced when he tried to escape from the zombies' attacks. At first Marcelo had trouble because the zombies had taken over the entire building, but after defeating several zombies, he finally managed to escape by entering the hallway, even though one of the zombies managed to bite his leg. Out of curiosity, Claudio tried to ask Marcelo about what had caused the humans to turn into zombies. Marcelo then said that it all started when health experts, discovered the growth of a dangerous virus originating from wild animals. The virus eventually spreads, causing everyone begins to act strangely, like zombies. Without realizing it, the zombies managed to immobilize the entire city in just a few days. Before turning into a zombie, he finally started telling about his wife, Kiara. Claudio had thought that Chiara had died from being attacked by zombies, but Marcelo said that his wife was fine, because she had been taken to a shelter, or commonly referred to as a bunker that had been built by the soldiers, to evacuate people who have not been infected by the zombie virus. Moments later, Marcelo began to show signs that he would soon turn into a zombie. He also told Claudio to shoot him immediately, because he didn't want to be one of the zombies. But, out of fear, Claudio refused to accept Marcelo's orders, forcing Marcelo to hit him, causing him to learn how painful it felt to be bitten by a zombie. Shortly after that, Marcelo finally started turning into a zombie and attempted to attack Claudio, until he accidentally shot himself in the leg. In the end, Claudio was forced to use the weapon to finish off Marcelo, causing the zombies who were there to come after hearing the gunshot. In that panic moment, Claudio started shooting the zombies with a shotgun, until he accidentally slipped, and passed out when his head hit the elevator wall. 
Then, when he woke up, the zombies had already left, and when Claudio checked his cell phone, he saw that there were several calls from an unknown number. He then tried to call the number and it turned out to be his wife, who said that she had been rescued by the soldiers at the moment. After realizing that his wife is still alive, Claudio begins to regain his purpose for life. Then, as he tries to pick up the object blocking the elevator doors, he finally managed to take it. Without further ado, Claudio immediately opened the elevator door and got ready to leave. When he was about to leave the building, he met one of the zombies crawling towards him, forcing him to step on her head until it was crushed. He did it since he was tired of zombies who had killed so many people. Claudio then walked around the city but it seemed that no one had survived the zombie attack. He kept walking until he finally met one of the zombies who tried to attack him. Suddenly, someone shot the zombies, and it turned out that they were soldiers who were observing the surroundings. Claudio also tried to wave his hand. Then, the soldiers ordered several his team to immediately save Claudio, knowing that he had not been infected with the zombie virus. At the end of the film, we are shown the state of the city which has become very chaotic due to the outbreak of the zombie virus. Then the film ends. Okay guys. That's all the recap for this movie. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video.